Hey guys, this is Brooke here. Um, I'm in the car about to go to work in about 30 minutes and um, I just want to do a follow up with everybody. I just want to let everyone know that I'm doing pretty good. Um, sorry about not putting a lot of videos. I've been working a lot every day and then on the weekends I'm doing stuff for my business so I'm really really busy. But guys, I'm going to be coming out with some new content by next week. Um, yeah, guys, so stay tuned. Be sure to check out my website, which will be posted in the description. I do tarot readings, I do art, and I do photography. So if you're interested, please send me a message. Um, if you also want spiritual consultation, like if you have a problem with aliens or the cloning center or strange dreams or you saw things that no one else can see from the spiritual realm, please give me, send me an email and we could talk about it. If you're having a trouble, uh, a troubled time dealing with demons and stuff like that, or you feel like something's attacking you at night, please send me emails so we can discuss that. Um, not only do I get to help people, but people help me learn more about the spiritual world and what goes on and what goes down. And guys, I've just been, you know, just trying to work and invest in my business and keep things going so I'm just so thankful and blessed to have a great job I got hired at a really good company and um, I work in a great corporate office with a beautiful view and I worked so hard to get here so I'm so thankful that um, I'm moving up I'm moving up 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 working hard from the ground up and these um, corporations so I'm really thankful for that um, all the work that I'm doing at these companies is to benefit my business and, you know, invest in the things I like to do, which is my art and my spiritual work. So I just want to give a shout out to everyone at my temple. Thank you for sending me friend requests. And I really love my temple and my spiritual, the, the, um, spiritual community. They've been showing a lot of support for me. So I'm thankful for that. I'm still learning. I'm still training in my you know, everything that I'm doing, I'm trying to get better at it so I can help people and help myself on my discovery for knowledge of self. So I want to give a shout out to the truth, com the truth community and the truth movement, because you guys have saved my life. Um, you know, a lot of people have made so many sacrifices to dig deep into the truth about the nature of reality. And I just want to give them a shout out as well that there are some great people out here that are putting their life on the line just to share the truth with everyone. There's a lot of people that don't know what's going on as far as what the elites are doing and what the super rich are doing with the cloning centers and the organ harvesting and the ELF electromagnetic warfare that they're doing on people, especially when they go to sleep at night. I had a chance to actually pray. Sorry, my throat is, you know, the weather out here sucks. The air out here sucks in New Jersey. So I'm always like having to buy like allergy medicine and stuff and throat medicine and all this stuff because I could barely breathe out here. It just sucks, but whatever. But anyway, um, there's a lot going on with the elites and they're actually just putting it out there because they know that they can't stop the truth. The truth is going to be discovered one way or another. They can't hide it anymore. So they're just putting it out there. The cloning centers, the aliens, the realm, the spiritual realm, they do heavy level dark occultic magic, dark, dark occultist magic every day because it works. They communicate with the spirits every day. They communicate with dark spirits every day and they pray dark energy on people every day that's why it's very important that you pray before bed that you give time and you pay time to the to the ancestors and and god whatever god you believe in you don't have to be religious i'm not promoting religion i'm just promoting truth because um the problem with these this day and age is everyone's trying to be religious but it's not even about religion it's about truth spiritual science and spiritual truth and the truth of the matter is from my research we are higher beings and we fell from a high place all ancient spiritual mystery schools teach this doctrine because it's true we are solar beings we are star beings 
that came from the most high and we fell into the 3d low vibratory world and being human is on the low tier of what you can be it's just a place it's, it's a grounds for the soul to grow and get back to where it used to be and so with this being said we cannot waste our time we cannot waste our time getting too caught up in the material world i mean it's here we can indulge but don't indulge too much to the point where you start to lose the spiritual and dive deeper into the physical and um it's not a matter of what religion you believe in who's right who's wrong who's going to hell that hell doctrine is a fear-based doctrine based on mind control to scare people into shutting them down spiritually from seeking real truth which is within you don't have to well it's good to do research and go out externally to get books and information and knowledge but a lot of the knowledge is within if you actually learn knowledge of self and look within and go to the deeper levels of your subconscious mind to the unconscious mind and then once you reach the unconscious mind you go deeper and deeper and deeper into self there's a lot of information there that can help you on your journey some people can't get past the realm of fears and nightmares and that's where i'm stuck right now i've been to the deeper realms but sometimes people get stuck in fear and a fear realm is a very real realm that you can really get stuck in that will prevent you from going deeper and they want that they know about the spiritual realm they're very intelligent people they know the truth about everything because they have access they have a lot of money so they have the top researchers, scientists, and spiritual people to find the truth. And they know the truth. And they know that the more fear that they put us in, the more fear vibrations, we get stuck in a realm of nightmares in the dream state. So a lot of people are stuck in their fears, losing their job, losing their wife, um, getting killed by the government. All this fear lowers your vibration. And it's that fear of God that they teach that you should be afraid of God that's actually going backwards. It's, it's actually, you shouldn't be afraid of God. God is love. God is information. God is truth. You shouldn't be afraid of, of truth. The Most High doesn't want us to fear him. That's a that's an oppressive God. Oppressive gods that need worship to, to feed their ego, which is ego is a, is a part of the earth realm the material realm, the lower vib vibratory realms. Only dark demonic gods ask for worship and only dark demonic gods ask for praise. There's a difference between reciprocating energy and paying homage to an ancestor or, or a god as opposed to getting on your knees and worship worshiping them as if you're in fear of them. We're not supposed to be in fear of the great divine. We're supposed to embrace it and reciprocate our energy. There's too many people out here telling folks that God is going to put us all in hell. For one, we're already in hell. We're in an in a electromagnetic hell every single day. When I go to sleep and I've been into deep meditation, I've learned so far that I do hear the beeping of the ELF waves. It sounds like a beeping sound that's similar to the sound of the ohm sound, the hum of the universe or the hum of the natural um, vibrations of the planet this elf wave beeping sound is similar to the sound but it's in fragments of beeps like it sounds like a beeping sound i can't really describe it maybe one day i'll be able to like make a video of what the sound is so people can hear it but it's a low vibratory beeping sound that is very very hard to hear but when you go really really deep into self and into meditation right before you go to sleep i can hear that sound very clearly they are blasting us with ELF waves, which produce images in the mind, which is a very scientific and intricate way of mind control through the cell phone towers and the waves. There's lots of waves that pass through us because we are mostly water. All we are is just water, light, and the elements. We're just the elements in a physical form. And the real energy that we have comes from the solar energy. And the thought energy and the conscious energy and the emotional energy so we got fire the water the wind and the earth and the plasma energy that's that's all we are we are the elements um, that's why we connect to them but a lot of people don't understand that they think being human is the best thing that 
they could ever be, and that's complete bullshit. Human is is a lower tier. There are worse tiers than being human, but human is not so bad compared to being a roach or being a rat or something like that. But I'd rather be a god. I'd rather be a god. I'd rather be a solar deity in the, in the sky. But with that comes a lot of responsibility. I mean, if you can't even be human and get through that, how are you going to hold the solar system together? If you can't control your emotions, if you can't control your thoughts, if you can't get yourself together, there's no way um, if, if we can't pass these tests and listen to truth and be on the right path, there's no way we can go back to Godhood. We are all gods because we all come from the Most High. I'm not saying we're above the Most High or we're below the Most High, but we shouldn't run, be running around fearing nature. You know, they teach us to fear, to fear, to fear. Fear brings your vibration lower, okay? God does not want us to fear them. The great mother and the great father and the sacred feminine and the sacred masculine, they don't want fear. Fear is such a human concept that is misunderstood. We should not be afraid of things. When you're afraid of something, you know, you give it more power. You give it more energy than you think. And the thing that the very thing that you fear will manifest because you're giving it the most thought, uh, giving it the most power and energy. So we got to stop being afraid of things. And to do that, you have to practice. You have to practice facing your fears every day. Right now, currently, I'm stuck in the realm of fears and nightmares. I'm in realms in my mind that the worst thing, the worst possible things happen to me. And I'm like, why is this repeating? And my spirit told me, you have to get past this first in order to unlock the true information and the real original um, information that's within. Because all information is inside of us. Because our blood, our DNA, our, the water that's in our body comes from those be from before us. And to be honest with you guys, we are older than our parents because our DNA has, has been here longer so we should have access to all that information that they have went through. And every generation should be more intelligent and wise than the last generation. But that's why we're moving backwards because we don't know shit. Our parents, my mom, my father, they never taught me about these things. Most of the things I know is, is based on my own research and, and me just wanting to know the truth. You know, so because this world is full of illusion. This world is full of pain and suffering because of ignorance. People don't know why they're on earth and they don't care to ask why. They're like, well, God put me here and I have to be the best human. There's no way you could be the best human you could be. Human, being human in the first place is not good. People don't understand that being human is, is not the best it can be. The best you can be. I'd rather be a, a, a freaking star in the sky than be human. But being human ain't so bad compared to other things. Like, it could be worse. You know, you could be, like I said, you could be a, 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 a terrible bug or something like that. Or you could be much worse. Um, yeah, so... um. There's a lot going on. I'm just thankful for the truth community because um, without them, we would still be lost. There's a lot of people that lost their life, like Phil Schneider. Um, there are a lot of reporters and journalists who lost their life. There's a lot of celebrities that lost their life because they're tired of the Pizzagate stuff. They're tired of the child rape and abuse from the rich and powerful. The rich and powerful like to rape and eat kids because they're taking their, their energy they're taking their, their light and their energy because they're so fucked up and they constantly need energy. And they do rituals to these gods, these, these, these spirits, because the spirits want blood. If you want us to help you, you got to give us blood because it's, it's about energy. They want the energy. All right. These spirits are real. That's why they do this magic. I know about the occult. I study the occult every day. They want that blood these these demons that they're working with so that they can maintain their power so they got to do rituals every single day to ask these demons for help 
or the vril or whatever the vril are reptilian beings they're they're not these are not dimensional beings these are actually earth beings that live underground and they've been control helping the greys the greys are like a different type of reptilian being or they could be cloned to they're controlling the planet there's a lot of alien races that have been controlling the planet for a very long time and they put it in the movies and stuff and people think it's just a ha ha joke like it's just a movie but they really put the truth in the movies but tell you their lies but they're actually the truth and when you tell somebody that there are reptilians running the planet they look at you like you're you're crazy you know the more i get spiritual and get into the truth movement the more i'm realizing the shit that actually sounds crazy is actually the truth it sounds so crazy it couldn't possibly be the truth right but it is so I just, I thank everybody for this sacrifice because this is hard for me, you know. This is really hard for me. As you can see, I'm like, you know, I'm chilling before work. But this is really hard for me because, like, people look at you like something's wrong with you. Like, man, this bitch is crazy on that other shit. But I just want the truth, you know. I want the truth. And they attack people like me. They've been attacking me for a minute. They've been watching me. They've been hacking my phone. Weird shit's been happening in my life. Like helicopters have been flying, flying. I caught, I try. It's weird because I try to catch this helicopter. I was waiting for the bus, and I was trying to catch this helicopter that was flying kind of close to me, and I was trying to record it, and my recorder wouldn't work. I was like, "How the hell does my recorder work any other time?" But now it stopped working for some reason. When I was trying to, I took a picture of the helicopter, but I couldn't record it. So I know that they're watching me, and. I know that they're all up in my phone, all up in my business. They probably know everything about me. It's all good. I'm not going to stop fighting for the truth. They're going to they're gonna threaten me through my dreams. They've been coming in my dreams with this bullshit. They've been blasting me with ELF waves. I can hear the beeping and the, and the, the, the sounds in my head and all that stuff. And it's all good. I'm still going to fight for the truth. I'm still going to do the work of the Most High. And I'm still going to get connected to my ancestors. And they can't stop me. They're trying to keep putting... They put people like me in fear constantly with the ELF waves. That's why you got to get some stones. I have magnetic hematite stones, black obsidian, tiger eye stones. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a ring to a, a hematite ring. You got to get your stones. Um, get real stones, not no bullshit. Get some shit that works. Do ritual, do prayer every day and protect yourself because they do attack. They, These elitists, they watch everyone, you know, and they attack you every day. They've been attacking me every day. They've been hacking my shit. They've been having helicopters, uh, for some reason they're there when I'm there and, and, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. And, um, you know, they, they just play their silly ass games or whatever. They put craziness in your head and, and I'm still going to fight for the truth though. You know, there's nothing to be afraid of because if they physically kill me, they're not going to kill my spirit. That's, that's just what it is. So. All right, guys, keep fighting for the truth. Keep digging. There's a lot of information out here. You know, there's no excuse at this point. We got the Internet. We got Google. We got books. We got the truth is there. We just got to fight for it. All right. It's within. The truth is within. But there's nothing wrong with, with going to other souls and collectively trying to seek truth because that's a more powerful thing that a bunch of people could get together and do research and investigate the truth of the reality of this world. This world is a dream. That's there's there's no doubt about it. I meditated, I went to really deep states. This world is nothing but a dream, it's just a, an experience. Don't get too caught up in the bullshit. Sometimes people worry too much about rent and bills and kids and drama. Who the hell is that person had sex with and that person fucked this person? It's just this is a part of the matrix. You guys got to let go of this bullshit. At the end of the day, this is all just an experience. At the end of the day, you got to remember who you truly are. We are stars. Like we see in the sky, the outer world is a reflection of the inner world. We are solar beings trapped in a physical reality. And that's it. If you guys don't get it by now, I, I don't know what to tell you. You know, you don't have to believe in my religion or whatever, but I'm just telling you what it is from my experience. This is what it is. And half the people on this planet are not real. And I'm going to end it here because the time's running out. But 50% of the people in this world are cloned. A lot of people don't have souls and a lot. That's why people don't get what I'm saying. Because you might, you most likely might be a clone or just not 
understanding what's really going on because you're so locked down into paying rent and your status and your ego and all this stuff people get so locked down to pride and ego and sex and overeating and, and trying to because the little voice inside of you is telling you hey this is not real it's real for the experience and the learning but it's not real in the way you think your car and your money ain't gonna be with you in the spiritual realm you don't even need that shit you don't need no cars or anything when you can be wherever you want to be just by thought alone. So always remember that. Don't get too caught up in this bullshit every day, drama at work. She said this about me and all that stuff puts you deeper into the matrix because it lowers your vibration. Anything that lowers your vibration, you need to get rid of it. Seriously, whether it's drugs or whatever it is, get the fuck rid of it. Get some shit around you that will, will raise your vibration put light in your heart and get around some good people this this shit is critical get some stones or whatever because jewelry is not just for fashion it's to help you with your vibration your stones and stuff so all right guys take care have a great day